longer time and they're followed by Sadler's Hills and towards the tail on the inside is Magic Musket along by the 550 booting up on the inside to hold the lead Master Magician led them to the home corner about a half a length in front of Hurricane Jack Flirt with Hellers down on the inside and now being stoked up coming into the corner from Very Tempting who came off the bridle quickly Crystal shot deeper out General Husson starts to make up some ground they're in the home straight Hurricane Jack came out after the leader Master Magician at the 200 Master Magician Hurricane Jack and a length and a half very tempting who's starting to run on pretty well on the inside Master Magician fights on beats off Hurricane Jack very tempting Clever Dick coming with a late run down the outside but Master Magician all the way Master Magician has won for me the Clever Dick very tempting Hurricane Jack queuing up there for second and third placings General Husson behind those with Flirt with Hell and they were followed also there on pulling up behind them next of all is Amura who got back in the field they were followed by Taxagano driving me wild and then deeper out came Sadler's Hills in behind those next of all is Burger Time it finished back in the ruck crystal shot really weakening back there and amongst the last of them home is Streak Away and there's one other one too that's pulled up a long long last and that's Magic Musket Master Magician is the winner for the D-Max stable Universal Ruler Gelding first up. Second lifetime start. Only appeared in a two-year-old maiden back in the autumn and has made a winning return this afternoon. Master Magician led. It coped with the pressure put to it by Hurricane Jack. I think very tempting might just grab second in front of Clever Dick who's got to the line really well. And Hurricane Jack fourth, there are the numbers, 9, 13, 15, 1 in 127.30. 127.30. It's Master Magician, the winner, by Universal Ruler from about to blow. For the Darren McAuliffe stable, ridden by Jordan Turner. Second placing, 13, very tempting, by Reduce Choice from Fit and Ready, William Pike for Grant and Alana Williams. Uh, came off the bridle in the home straight just prior to it. Picked up and has ground away. Clever Dick, 15 down the outside. First emergency by Dick Turpin from exquisite timing. Kath Fleming, Sean O'Donnell runs on to grab the minor spoil. 15, 20, 350, Master Magician. Very tempting, 130 and Clever Dick, 580. A length and a quarter, a short half head and a long head with the other margins there in race number two. But a, a fighting winning return to graduate out of its maiden class today, Master Magician. Now the next on the car, the C Corp handicap at 152. The three-year-olds will run over 1,100 on this occasion. Number three, I Am Incredible. Six, Floyd, who will run at Northam tomorrow. And eight, Fairy Whisper are the scratchings. It's cut the field back to just the six runners in the next of the day. I think chin straps are very hard to beat. Two from five, four and nine. Let's go back now to Adam McGrath. And he joins us uh, after this victory of Master Magician. A victory that's music to the years of trainer Darren McAuliffe. And a really nice return there by Master Magician, but without talking to you, I say full credit has to go to Jordan Turner. What a brilliant ride. Yeah, it was exactly uh, as I instructed him. Uh, we thought we might get a little bit of a cheap lead there, and he, uh, he just held him together instead of just uh, letting him go at the top of the straight, and he gets a bit lost, this guy. He sort of held him together and shook him up, and uh, he went through his gears uh, just like he did in the trial. And... Uh, uh, yeah, it was a, a perfect ride. Paul Harvey, like in the end, the way you're just able to dictate terms and then really kick out the top of the straight. Yeah, I mean, um, time's not overly flattering, but uh, look, yeah, we went from a pretty ordinary performance in that last race to an unexpected win there. Tell us about this galloper. You mentioned that last run, the last campaign, it was over the 1,100 metres, but the 1,400 today looked ideal. A bit of a stick out of the track as well was always going to be a bonus, and this guy should only improve the further he goes. Yeah, well, that's what I said the owners. The cut in the track was really going to be the biggest benefit to this guy, especially with his pedigree. Um, and, and that was probably the most uh, uh, the most obvious thing. Uh, we've had to tip him out uh, two or three times because there just haven't been any distant races uh, for these younger horses. Um, don't, know if, don't know how far he'll run, but, I mean, he's out of a sister to Kasabian. Um, so he's nicely bred. Uh, he's a good size. A um, bit of cut in the ground. He might be a nice sort of Belmont... Uh, classic type horse next year. So you do have a pretty good opinion of him to play a part in some Saturday races? Oh, well, he's, you know, he's won his maiden now uh, at a midweek, so he's no, uh, 
no goat, but um, oh, we'll see. The rest is up to him. We we had him spot on today, and uh, the rest is, yeah, the ball's in his court now. you still got a few more runners coming up today. Gadding uh, is your next one, and with a couple of scratchings, all of a sudden it looks as though you might be a chance again of getting that nice, comfortable lead where before it was probably going to have to take a sit behind some of the speedsters. Yeah, well, he's sort of trained on from his win the other day. He's starting to mature all the time, and uh, look, I expect him to perform well, but I think there's a couple of slick ones in there. I have to ask you about Ibiza as well. What's the return from that first race? Very disappointing again. Oh, it's probably got a heart as big as yours. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Appreciate your time. There's Darren McCauliffe, uh, the winning trainer uh, of Master Magician. We'll grab Jordan Turner now as well. Jordan, brilliant ride by yourself, mate. Uh, you were able to bully the other jockeys into just walking through those early stages and then kick away at the top of the straight. Yeah, look, um, I actually didn't want to really go as slow as I uh, wanted to, but because the horse was still pretty raw and um, it only it was just just travelling, and to its own merit, it actually won pretty well. Ran through the line strongly. A horse that's definitely going to get further. Yeah, I think he'll definitely get further. Um, as I said, he's got heaps to learn. He's pretty immature, so um, no, he, uh, he done it pretty well today. How are the conditions out there, mate? Look, the track's pretty soft. Um, I think my horse actually liked the track, but it definitely probably will chop up later in the day. So, Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thanks, sir. There's Jordan Turner, winning jockey aboard of Master Magician, which has taken out race number two here at Ascot, the young membership maiden over the 1,400 metres, an event for the three-year-olds.